Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try You're So Bad by Tom Petty. My sister got lucky, she married a yuppie. Uh, Alright, we're going to try, uh, let's see, we're going to need an A minor chord, fourth string, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. Okay, so let's start with that and uh, let's teach you the intro. So the strum pattern, uh, he's going to do kind of like a boom down. So your boom on an A minor chord is your fifth string, so you're aiming for that. I'm muting the sixth string with my thumb here. So. That's four times. So four times. So I'm going, I'll slow it down for you. Boom, down, down, up, down. And that's really the strum pattern for most of the song. Okay, so boom, down, down. Now, if you have trouble finding that boom, it doesn't have to be too particular. You don't have to hit it just right every time. Uh, you could just do down, 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 up, down. Up. That would be fine too, but um, you know, I, 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 I can hear the bit of an accent on it. That's your intro, okay? Your verse is an A minor, a measure of A minor, so a pattern of that. A pattern of D, a pattern of G, an A minor again, an A minor, D, and then G for two patterns, and it repeats. So we'll go over it. A minor, you know, D is the third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string. I'm going to aim for the fourth string as my boom, because that's a D. Uh, you know, might not always hit it. Who cares? All right, G chord. You could do any G chord you know. Uh, I, I might do the 6th string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 1st string 3rd fret. I might do the 2nd string and the 1st string at the 3rd fret. Really doesn't matter, okay? So, uh, and then, and that's all the chords you need for the verse. So let's get right into the verse. So we're going to do A minor, to a D, to a G, back to A minor. So, uh, it's, it's not as complicated as it, it, it first sounds, it, 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 it's a repeating form, so it's like A minor, D, G, A minor, then A minor again, D, and G twice, and then that whole thing repeats, so it's not that complicated, you can figure it out. Uh, the pre-chorus, we're going to go to an E minor chord, 5th string, 4th string, 2nd fret, you can let everybody ring on that, and my boom is E, 6th string. Open sixth string. Then you're going to need a C chord. First time the C's arrived here, so fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. All right, and you already know the G and the D. So here's the pre-chorus. It's E minor C G D, E minor C G D for twice. So there's an extra bar of D at the end. Uh, this is the part, oh baby, uh, something about not me, I got you to save me. So this is that part. So E minor, C, to a G, to a D, E minor, C, G, D for two. And that's your pre-chorus. Okay, we're on to the chorus of You're So Bad. Alright, this is where it changes a little bit, your strum pattern. Uh, you already know the chords, it's G, D. Share a measure this time, so this is the the tough part. Uh, it's not, actually not tough at all. Sorry. <laughs> so your strum changes, so it's going to be instead of uh, you could do the boom down up or just down down up. Doesn't really matter. Either one, boom uh, or so you're going to go G, just like that. So I think I'm just going to, instead of doing a boom, I'm going to strum the whole thing. So down, down, up on G, down, down, up on D. And then you're on to the C chord, which is going to be two measures of the previous pattern, okay? So.
That's your chorus, okay? Uh, the first two choruses, well, the first chorus, the second chorus, and the fourth chorus are exactly like that. The th third chorus is a little bit different, so we'll get to that. All right, so how can I teach this to you? You got G, D, and then C for two big patterns. Same thing. This time G, D, only one pattern on the C and then G. So it's G, D, share a measure, and then you got C for two measures or two patterns. Uh, and then the same thing, G and D, share a measure, so the short pattern, and then C for two measures or two patterns. But then G and D stay the same, they share the measure, but then the C is only one pattern this time. And then he goes right back to the G, D, uh, and then C also uh, back to the two patterns, and then he adds the D for two patterns at the end. And that's your chorus, uh, one, two, and four courses okay I'll go over the form at the end I hope I remember to give it to you all right so the solo I didn't bother with the solo it doesn't sound uh, I don't know I can't hum it that's for sure it doesn't sound like it's all that great <laughs> sorry <laughs> but um, anyway uh, you, you probably in this key you probably just do it base it on an A minor pentatonic that would work um, because of the F sharp and the D chord you could probably put the Maybe, maybe mix it Lydian, you know? So, um, uh, the solo doesn't, it's just not all that memorable. It wasn't really worth sitting down, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Guitar Player and Compeddy's band. All right, uh, but the chords behind the solo, if you want to learn them, it's A minor for two patterns, D for one, and then G for one, and that whole thing repeats four times. So, uh, and I'm talking about the long pattern like, uh, sorry. Sometimes I vary my strum patterns. It's tough to just stick to one. Uh, all right, we're on to the third chorus, okay? Uh, we got to put that one in there. This one is wicked simple. It's, it's nothing to, it, it's, it's the same thing up until a point, okay? So uh, basically, let me cut to the chase. I'll go to the end of it. So the last time you do G, D, and go to C. it. So it's the C, but it's four patterns. So it's substituting. Earlier we did the C for two and then we went to D for two at the end. This time he doesn't go to the C. I mean, he doesn't go to the D, sorry, pardon. He, he just stays on the C for four patterns. And then he comes back with another chorus, the fourth chorus, and he does do the same thing we have been doing. Okay? So I'll play through it. It's a G, D, C. the uh, you're so bad part by the way the chorus um, best thing I ever had all right uh, the only thing you have left is the outro which sounds like this it's uh, gonna be a uh, short pattern on G short pattern on C and then G D C I'm sorry, G D G uh, it's hard to get this stuff straight so I'm just gonna play it <laughs> typical like country Nashville type ending Okay, so it was G, so the G is down, down, up, C, down, down, up, G, D, G. Okay, you could do something like that. Uh, and that's it. All right, the form. The form is the, uh, the, you got your intro, which is A minor. And then you got your verse, uh, which is next. And then your pre-chorus is the... Okay, and then 
then you got your chorus, the You're So Bad. Then you go back and do another verse, another pre-chorus, and another chorus. Then it's that solo with the A minor, but to the D, to the G. And that repeats four times. Then you go back and you do a pre-chorus, so he jumps to the, the maybe part, that part. And then the chorus, the third chorus, which is a little bit different, just stays on the C at the end. Then a regular chorus, just like we did, and then the outro. Okay, hopefully that helped. Uh, play more guitar, please subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks. Bye.